Hey, what's up YouTube, what's going on? Today's new video, what I wanted to discuss is the importance of an assessment when it comes to developing an exercise program or a training program for an individual or for a client. Now this video is a little bit more geared towards a trainer or coach or even a therapist or any sort of clinician that may be developing a program for that matter. However, the whole point of developing an assessment is so we can identify what an individual's goals are and what their needs are and we can also perform a pre-screen so we can identify what may be suitable for them and not suitable for them. And so there's a lot of trainers and coaches out there or even individuals that just don't really perform an assessment when it comes to developing an exercise program. And I'm not in that belief or in that popular belief of prescribing just general programs for everybody. That's just not my philosophy. It's not how I go about it. It's not how I think because I feel like every individual is unique and they all need their own individual needs and all need their own individual program. And therefore they all needed an assessment to determine what they need. So just throwing a general program out there, like a boot camp style workout, or maybe putting a few individuals on the same program, which you may have just wrote up on a chalkboard or just kind of a whiteboard for that matter. I'm not a believer in that. I know a lot of coaches, trainers do that out there and that's fine with me. If that works for them, that works for them. It's just not in my belief because I personally just feel like everyone needs their own program and everyone is unique in that sense. But anyways, kind of going back to the importance of an assessment. So number one, the importance of an assessment is so we can identify what the individual's goals or needs are and what their requirements are. And so then we can establish how we should structure a program for them to meet those goals or those demands or whatever it may be for that individual. So that's one reason why. A second reason is so we can just do a pre-screen of the individual. What is their movement quality like? What's their posture like? So screening for the movement quality and posture can then help us to determine what exercises are appropriate for them and what exercises may not be appropriate for them as well. For example, someone with maybe limited uh, shoulder external rotation, if they have limited shoulder external rotation, whether that's on both sides or maybe just one side, it's probably not the best idea to be putting them in a back squat right away because they can't get into that position to hold the bar without kind of really cranking on their shoulders. So in that case, a back squat may be a down the line progression where we have to work towards developing some better external rotation in the shoulder to get them into a better position to be forming a, to be performing a back squat. So that's just one example. And that's why we would want to pre-screen an individual and perform an assessment like that to see what they can and cannot do when it comes to exercise, because we do not want to be putting them at a risk for injury or putting them in a position where they're going to injure themselves, whether that's their shoulder, the whole back, knee, whatever it may be. So that's another reason why. And also a third reason why is so we can actually explain and discuss with the individual what they may need to work on moving forward. If they're looking to prevent pain or maybe reduce some symptoms of maybe a lower back issue or knee issue that has developed and that's been nagging along with them, we can educate them about how they can move forward in terms of preventing those issues and in terms of overcoming or helping recover from those issues as well. So those are a few reasons why an assessment is absolutely important and critical and it's one reason I believe that all trainers and coaches should perform an assessment at least to some degree to at least screen for what an individual can and cannot do and what they need to improve on moving forward because without an assessment you're just guessing and you're just kind of throwing things at the wall and hoping for something to stick. It's almost a shotgun approach in a sense where you're just shooting until something sticks with the individual and you got them feeling better. But in the other case, you have individuals that likely will end up getting worse. And so that's why I feel like everyone needs to have their own assessment. Everyone is individualized. Everyone has different body structures, limb lengths. They all have different body composition. They all have different physiological, physiological makeups, genetics, all that are different among each individual. And also if we're talking athletes, every athlete is different as well in terms of the demand of the sports. And you don't want to be put, putting them on the wrong program because you could be making their performance worse and increase the risk of injury potentially. So those are just a few reasons why an assessment is absolutely critical. And it is very important in terms of developing the program for an individual and how it should be structured or programmed for them. And I know there's a lot of trainers and coaches out there that really don't even perform much of an assessment whatsoever. And I mean, that's fine with me. I mean, if that's what they want to do. Sure. Go ahead. I mean, 
I'm not here to judge. It's just not my philosophy. My philosophy is I need things to be individualized and I want everything to be individualized for each individual. That's just how I believe things work and that's how I have developed my own mindset and my approach and that's just kind of my mental model and how things should be because everyone is unique, like I said. And I find that is just what works best for me as well with my clients and the athletes that I've worked with as well. So just wanted to make that video quickly to discuss the importance of an assessment. That's why an assessment is absolutely critical in my opinion and everyone is going to be different in terms of the program they need based on those assessment findings. And yes, everyone's assessments will be different. Some assessments will be more general, some will be more specific, and that's my case as well. And there's a lot of factors at play there in terms of what I'm going to be doing in this assessment because I do not use the same assessment with every individual. But the assessments that I do use, they are all, there are a lot of similarities and overlap to them, but each one is specific to each individual and it's kind of based around the individual's needs and what we're trying to accomplish with that individual as well. So just want to make that video quickly, guys. Just want to share with you guys the importance of an assessment, why it's important, and how it is applied to an actual exercise program scenario. So, with that being said, guys, wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, anything you want to share with me, please leave a comment below. And until next time, all the best, guys, and take care.